Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets have rebounded uh, overnight following uh, the $100 billion uh, injection that the uh, Chinese government have made into those markets and that's helping to push most other global equity markets modestly higher this morning, uh, probably getting some decent um, momentum on the US 30 and the UK 100. Germany 30, not so much incidentally, but we'll come back to that in a second. So looking at the potential support, bounced off 17.361 and is trading above 17.561 with an expectation potential resistance at 17.747. Technical indicator is relatively neutral and we do have the FOMC tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, we should give us some extra indications as to the strength of the US economy, what Janet Yellen thinks about the strength of the US economy, and also the likelihood of a potential rate hike in September. Now they probably won't specifically reference that, but the markets will make a gauge based on her rhetoric and uh, the in other words, that she, that she utilizes in that statement. So that should be pretty interesting. Very important announcement. It's at 7 p.m. UK time tonight. So looking at the UK 100, real strong day yesterday. Uh, that's a bullish engulfing pattern. It's not really followed through that strongly this morning, but um, uh, 65.89 uh, is the potential resistance slash support. It's not through there yet. Almost got a bullish cross in the MACD. The other technical is relatively neutral. From a purely chart perspective, obviously it's had quite a savage last couple of days. If we fail to break above 65.89 with any conviction though, this looks vulnerable to move down to 64.15. So it really depends how the UK market reacts to the prospect of uh, a strong FOMC tonight if we get that. Because uh, obviously the US economy still drives a lot of stuff. But China, you know, is getting bigger and bigger and bigger in the financial markets, and uh, obviously it's not had as big an impact as if the Dow had come off eight percent or whatever. But still, it, it, it's still a, a major part of the global economy now. You know, it's the second biggest economy after all. So I think that's still going to be bubbling under the surface. And let's not obviously mention what's still happening over in Greece. So moving on to Japan, 25. So. Dolly ends at 123.62. Uh, we had a decent bounce yesterday, but almost a bullish engulfing pattern. Looks to be those dual moving averages are providing a little bit of short term resistance. Uh, as ever for Japan, 25 potential support is at 2087 with 2868 in the longer term potential resistance. Now, I um, wouldn't be that massively surprised if we began to see a little bit of dollar strength creep in as we get towards the FOMC as uh, traders begin to take bullish bets that uh, it will be positive, but obviously they don't know until it comes out. Um, certainly, 20,087 looks to be a decent potential support level to be aware of. So if we have a look there at dollar yen, um, dollar yen is trading above both moving averages. 124.42 remains potential resistance. We do have a potential sell signal on the slow stochastic and a crossover, a negative crossover in the MACD. So there is pressure on dollar yen, but I think the fundamentals will, will support. If everything all goes completely um, badly in some of those other global markets, people will buy the yen. People have been buying, buying gold as well, incidentally, but they will buy the yen. But the US dollar has been gaining that extra little bit of momentum um, because of the FOMC. But when we look at your dollar, you see it. Cable's been going great guns because we had great UK GDP yesterday. So it kind of feels that like maybe 124 spot 42 isn't going to be broken that easily, but it all depends on the macroeconomic data. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, uh, I managed to rebound slightly yesterday. Nothing really much has changed here in regards to all the fundamental factors that are impacting West Texas. So 45, 85 is the potential support to be aware of. We are in the middle of two ranges right now pretty much. So you've got 89.40 and 85, uh, 45, 85. So gold, um, gold would be sensitive tonight to tonight's FOMC if it comes out particularly hawkish. If it comes out dovish, gold might get a bit of a lift. Um, it does look to be a, like a potential symmetrical triangle formation that is that is forming here. Uh, it's not yet really hit all the factors that it needs to, 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 to have that. Usually it's a continuation factor, but I think gold's going to be driven by uncertainty and or um, macro data from the US giving us a bit of an idea uh, as to the next interest rate rise. So looking at euro dollar, so euro dollar reversed course a little bit yesterday, uh, failing to break through potential resistance at one spot 11, which also coincides with that 55 period SMA. We might start bouncing in between the two moving averages, but they will eventually flatten out and it'll have to break one direction or the other. But one spot 11 looks to be the potential pivot. Other technicals still pretty neutral, to be honest. And then finishing up with GBP USD, um, Again, oscillating around one spot 56, longer term potential resistance, one spot 57.43. Decent day yesterday following that better, that as expected GDP, but 
it was a good GDP figure and we had a revision up from the previous month as well. So um, UK economy getting some, uh, some healthy green shoots uh, beginning to appear. And uh, if we begin to tail off, we do have the support of the two moving averages right here and one spot uh, 54.24 as potential support as well. So I come up data wise, obviously it's all about the FOMC tonight, don't forget about that. Uh, Twitter came out with the results last night, they were pretty rubbish as well, incidentally the lowest increase in new users since they went public. You got the housing index at 3, you got um, crude oil inventories at 3.30, but as I said it's all about that uh, FOMC statement at 7. Then tomorrow you've got employment data from, the, from Germany, employment data from the Eurozone, uh, CPI from Germany, GDP from the US. So actually tomorrow has got loads and loads of data. Uh, so tonight's going to be important and tomorrow. And as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. I can see updates from some other CMC Markets clients on there, which are great. Uh, Jasper Lawyer, UK analyst, is posting content in there. Make sure you keep an eye on insights and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.